I mean, do you want to kick us off? Yeah, sure. Um, <clears throat> so we saw the announcement earlier that the Israelis have agreed to uh, these four-hour pauses. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if there's a few details, more details you can give. Um, you know, previously the Israelis had said they wouldn't agree to humanitarian pauses without release of hostages. So th is there some kind of agreement from the Hamas side uh, that, that has facilitated this? The Israelis can obviously um, provide you with additional uh, details, but uh, I, I wanted to note that this uh, new development has, uh, has been, a, I think, a direct result of some of the engagements, discussions, and diplomacy that uh, the President, Secretary Blinken, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan have all been deeply engaged on. Um, uh, this has been something that has been uh, uh, important to us as well is uh, uh, assessing avenues in which uh, uh, humanitarian pauses could be um, initiated to permit civilians to depart, uh, air, specifically depart areas where there are active hostilities, uh, increase the flow of aid, uh, as well as enable uh, conditions for the release of hostages, which is something that we hope uh, will uh, continue to take place and happen as well, and that's something we're going to continue to keep an eye out. Um, so again, this is not uh, a black and white uh, situation. It's something that we're going to continue to work on with uh, our partners in Israel uh, about these kinds of efforts. And just um, to reiterate some of the uh, details that were announced, uh, there will be uh, two humanitarian corridors allowing people to flee the areas of hostilities in the northern part of Gaza. Uh, the first such corridor open between between four and five hours um, every day for the past few days has already enabled uh, many thousands of people to reach safer areas. Uh, the second route along the coastal road will enable many more thousands to reach safer areas in the, in the south. And of course, um, we are continuing to work closely with our Israeli partners uh, to, uh, to address and remain vigilant about efforts from Hamas to discourage uh, and prevent civilians um, from fleeing this area. And simultaneously, as we talk about this uh, movement of civilians, it's also uh, critical that humanitarian supplies and assistance are expanded in the areas where people are moving um, in uh, in the case specifically of, of southern Gaza. Uh, over uh, the course of yesterday, we saw 106 trucks um, uh, of humanitarian aid flow into Gaza through the Rafah crossing. Uh, Rafah crossing remains open today uh, for the inflow of humanitarian aid as well as uh, the safe departure of foreign nationals. So uh, we'll continue to work towards this and make sure that there is apt flow uh, each day. So the Rafah crossing is open in both directions now? That is our understanding. That is right. there, there it, As I said from here yesterday, that it had been closed uh, given uh, some security uh, circumstances. Our understanding at the this point is that uh, it is uh, open for the influx of aid and also for uh, foreign nationals to depart. And, and just uh, on the, the humanitarian pauses, so one of the images that people have been seeing a lot is, is a lot of people moving from the north of Gaza to the south. Um, what's the U.S. position on, you know, how these people, how will these people have some kind of right of return to their, you know, a lot of them are already displaced people from many years anyway, but uh, is there some way that you, in your talks with the Israelis, that you're able to say, uh, you know, anyone who leaves northern Gaza, Gaza City uh, now during this operation will have the right to return uh, to, to where they were living before? So uh, you've heard me say this uh, before that, uh, of course, a forced uh, relocation of Palestinian civilians uh, from Gaza is not something uh, that we support. It's not a policy that we are pursuing. Um, and uh, additionally, uh, Palestinian civilians who uh, may call Gaza home, uh, we believe should have the ability uh, to return um, if they had needed to depart uh, for whatever reason over the course of uh, this this conflict. Yeah, we're talking about people moving in within inside the Gaza Strip, but moving from north to south. Right, right. right. Yeah. And what I'm saying, I, your question, uh, for those who may have departed, uh, I, I'm saying is that uh, it, it's our belief that uh, they should be able to return should they have uh, exited uh, for whatever reason. Sure. Can, 